Welcome back. All right, so a career video of a Hall of Famer who played before I started watching the game. Ken Dryden, a very famous figure in the hockey world and in Canada in general. Uh, Ken Dryden was a number 14 pick in 1964, actually by the Boston Bruins, and he was traded June 28th of 1964. So right after he's drafted by Boston, they trade his rights to the Habs with Alex Campbell in exchange for Guy Allen or Guy Allen. I'm guessing it's Guy because the last name's Allen and Paul Reed. The fact that I'm guessing on the name of one of the guys going the other way doesn't bode well for Boston, nor does the fact that Ken Dryden ends up being a Hockey Hall of Famer. And it's interesting, too, because his career is relatively short. This normally with the video, if the career takes up that much of the board, I'm talking about how short the career was and injury riddled. Not the case with Ken Dryden. So he finally makes his debut with Montreal in 7071. Why? It's Montreal. There's lots of depth, especially in goal. So he wins all six games he plays in the 7071 regular season, has a 957 save percentage. So quite good right out of the gate. And then in the playoffs, he plays 20 games, goes 12 and 8, 914 save percentage, and wins the Conn Smythe Trophy. <clears throat> so a Conn Smythe win, and uh, he'd only played six regular season games, meaning he is still a rookie the following season. So 71, 72, what's essentially his rookie season. He plays 64 games, he wins 39 of them, leads the NHL there. Eight losses and 15 ties. A 930 save percentage is third. We are in an era where scoring is down. Uh, six games in the playoffs, two and four record, 911 save percentage. He plays in the All Star game. He is a Calder Trophy winner. He is second in heart voting, and he's a second team All Star. They don't have Vezina voting at this time. The Vezina goes to the goalie or goalies on the team, which has the lowest goals against. So the Vezina at this point is the same as what we now give out as the Jennings. And it's interesting because we all talk about the Vesna. Nobody pays much attention to the Jennings. 72-73, 54 games played, 33 wins, which is first overall to go with seven losses and 13 ties. His 926 save percentage was first overall in the National Hockey League. And in the playoffs, 17 games, a 12-5 record, 907 save percentage. He wins the Vezina Trophy, he's fourth in heart voting, and he's a first-team All-Star. So, pretty good year for Dryden. Now, what's interesting is, of course, the 72-73 season comes and goes, and then the 73-74 season should be on this board, but it's not. Why? Dryden knew what he was worth. So, the generation prior to Ken Dryden, guys don't hold out, that's, a, that's unheard of. And so, Dryden's basically looking at the contract offers from Montreal and saying, this is insulting. These are insulting offers. I'm not playing for less than what I believe I'm worth. I'm not playing for less than market value. Montreal calls his bluff. For the 73-74 season, he doesn't play for Montreal. He holds out. Not only that, but he uh, he decided to work as a legal clerk and work on getting his law degree. He made $135 a week as a legal clerk rather than taking a contract with the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, the Habs were put into a rough position then where they got knocked out in the first round of the 1974 playoffs. They allowed a lot more goals than they did with Dryden the year before. It was obvious that if they were going to get the band back together and really make this work, they had to have Ken Dryden back in the fold. So he's he's signed, and the 74-75 season he returns, and he doesn't skip a beat. 56 games, 30 wins, which is fourth overall to go with 9 losses and 16 ties. 906 save percentage is 7th overall in the playoffs. He's 6-5 and in 11 games with a 916 save percentage. He played in the All-Star game that year, uh, doesn't win a Vezina, they don't win the Stanley Cup, but they're going to make up for that. So 75-76, he plays 62 games, his 42 wins are first overall to go with 10 losses and 8 ties. 927 save percentage is second overall, and in 13 playoff games, he goes 12-1. and one. Yeah, uh, 929 save percentage, played in the All-Star game, won the Vezina, 4th in heart voting, and he's a first-team All-Star. So the Montreal Canadiens dynasty has begun, and it continues in 76-77. He plays 56 games that year. 41 wins is first overall to go with six losses and eight ties. 920 save percentage is first overall. In 14 playoff games, he goes 12-2. and 932 save percentage. So ridiculous playoff numbers. Uh, All-Star game. Yep, Vezina Trophy. Absolutely first-team All-Star. He gets that as well. 77-78, he plays 52 games, 37 wins, which is second overall to go with seven ties and seven losses. 9.22 save percentage. Again, he finishes first in the NHL in that category. 
uh, in 15 playoff games, 12 and 3 record, 920 safe percentage. All star game, yep, Vezina Trophy, absolutely. He's also 10th in heart voting, and he's a first team all star. So 78 79, what would prove to be his final year in the NHL, 47 games, 30 wins, a second overall, 10 losses, 7 ties. His 909 safe percentage is second overall, as now we're starting to see the scoring go way up, right? So he's getting ready for Gretzky and all the 80s scoring. Uh, in the playoffs, he has 16 games, a 12 and 4 record, an 899 safe percentage, low by his standards. But does he win the Vesna? Yes. Is he a first team All Star? Also, yes. So he goes out as a champion. He ends up playing 397 games overall in his career. His 258 wins is 61st overall. And it's remarkable because he only played 397 games. 57 losses, 74 ties, 922 safe percentage. One of the tops all time in safe percentage. In the playoffs, 112 games, 80 wins, 32 losses, 915 safe percentage. So between 1971 and 1979, keeping in mind that he doesn't play in 1973-74, so he's not in the 74 playoffs, he has 80 wins. He averages 10 wins a season, even with the year he missed. So he also, if you look at the advanced numbers, he has 317 goals saved above average. So this is above what you would expect. And in terms of all-time numbers with goaltenders, he only trails Tony Esposito, Patrick Waugh, Dominic Hasek, and Bernie Perrant. And again, what makes this absolutely remarkable is the fact that he does this in fewer games than guys who have, you know, goals saved above average in the two to 300 range who played way more games than he did. Guys who are in the Hall of Fame. So Ken Dryden played on a stack team in Montreal. Yes, he also was a very good goaltender and proved in 73-74 by saying, fine, I won't play if you're not going to pay me what I'm worth. Uh, he showed just how important he was to the Montreal Canadiens. And they were rewarded. So they won the Stanley Cup in 1971. They won the Stanley Cup in 1973. Of course, they didn't in 74 and didn't in 75. But then they did in 76, 77, 78, and 79. So he almost had a Stanley Cup every year he played. Minus 72 and 75. Uh, out of his eight years, that's six Stanley Cups. That's just absolutely insane. And at the time he retires, it's not like he's a bad goaltender. It's not like he's old. He just, all right, I'm moving on to my next challenge. Uh, he had his legal degree, he was a lawyer, uh, and he did get that law degree before retiring. He has written eight books by my count. Uh, some of those books are absolutely fantastic, definitely must-read category. Uh, he was the winning goaltender in the 1972 Summit Series, so when Paul Henderson scores his goal, he skates all the way down the ice to help him celebrate that. Uh, so that was a pretty major moment for Ken Dryden. And keep in mind, at the time Dryden is the, the goalie for Canada in the Summit Series, he hasn't played that many games in the National Hockey League. So they put their, their, their fate in the hands of a goaltender with very little experience. So great on Dryden for, for that. And he was a very calm and cool and collected goaltender. So you may have seen the image of him with his stick under his chin and just resting like this. He would do that every time the puck was at the other end. He was, he was unflappable, very cool, very calm. Oh, and he was six foot four. So at a time where goaltenders are usually on the shorter side, he's not. He's six foot four. He takes up the whole net. And he was kind of ahead of his time there, wasn't he? The safe percentage is high. He's a tall goaltender. He's athletic. Definitely ahead of his time. Uh, so he also played a game against his brother Dave Dryden, who was with the Buffalo Sabres in Buffalo. Uh, that was the first time that two brothers had played against each other as goaltenders in the National Hockey League after the game. Uh, they, they shook hands at center ice and got a standing ovation from fans at the Odd in Buffalo. So a great moment there. Uh, January 29th of 2007, the Montreal Canadiens retire his number. Uh, in 2020, he was a recipient of the Order of Hockey in Canada. So, of course, it's hockey, it's Canada. you got to have an Order of Hockey in Canada, and Ken Dryden had to be in it. He's been very outspoken on concussions and CTE and the link between concussion, CTE, and a lower quality of life for players after they've retired. He has been very much an advocate for trying to minimize the impact of hits, trying to minimize the hits, which has not made him popular with all former NHLers. But he, he really does try to take care of the players who've retired and also thinking of the current generation as well. So he has that going for him. Uh, he has also served in the Canadian Parliament and he was president of the Toronto Maple Leafs. It is hard to find something Ken Dryden hasn't done. But when you're a lawyer, 
I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do, right? Uh, so Ken Dryden's been been very prominent, and and the interesting thing is he only had the eight year career in the in the National Hockey League. wasn't in the NHL that long, but he made it count. And he was on a team that was one of the best, if not the best, dynasties that ever played. And uh, yeah, impressive career and an impressive overall run after his career as well. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your support. I will talk to you again soon.